My name is Trent Dykstrahouse. I'm the project manager for RSCI at the Fall Creek Fish Facility. We were contracted on this job by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to build the fish facility, upgrade the existing fish facility, and build a new fish ladder to be able to transport native salmon and endangered steelhead species. My name is Corey Kessler with RSCI Construction. This is a project for the Corps of Engineers. We're building a fish ladder at Fall Creek Reservoir. Yeah, we had some site restrictions being that the river is on the south side of the facility and we had originally proposed to use a tower crane, but given the tight site that wasn't working with some of the restrictions we had on the geotechnical properties, so we had to look at other options and getting away from the use of a crane. There is a large savings in not having to have a crane on site. That allowed us to actually purchase the dual form as well as our production rates were about half with the dual form of what we would have expected with standard gang form system. That also eliminated the cost further. Hi, my name is JJ. I'm working here at the Fall Creek Fish Ladder Project with the duo forms. Been here since day one working with these forms. It's been a learning process, but each time we do it, it gets easier and easier and we get more productivity out of it. So from my standpoint, uh, being an office guy, I'm really looking at the production of the form work. And originally on this project, we had bid to achieve uh, 0.16 man hours per square foot on the form work. And with the duo system, we've been able to achieve 0.09 man hours, which is a significant reduction in increased profits on our end. We couldn't believe how light the duo forms were and that men could actually pick them up and carry them by hand. You can stack them, set them by hand. The clamps, the accessories are all very lightweight, much smaller than standard accessories, and so men can carry more pieces with them, um, allows them to be faster in building forms. The most surprising thing with these forms is that they go up relatively easy. The learning process for them is simple. Once you've done it a couple times, they go up like nobody's business. They're quick, you get a lot of productivity out of it. There's not much to learn. They're strong, they're durable, they're easy to clean, easy to store, and they are so much quicker and lighter than any of the other forms that we've typically used for a job like this. From my standpoint, I rely heavily on what the guys in the field recommend to me, and they've had a lot of positive things to say. So we've been very impressed with the duo form work. We actually just landed another project at a wastewater facility, and I've already got other project managers that are calling me asking when the duo system would be ready to come off this project. Actually, we've seen very little damage to the forms on site. We've used a lot of screws through the face of the forms, which the damage to the form has been minimal, which surprised us. Mostly the screw holes are very small. They filled up with concrete on the next pour, scraped off clean, and continued to leave a great finish on the wall. We're going to continue to use the duo system extensively in our company. We've already bought a second set um, that we're currently using on another job, but anything from slab footings to walls, columns, we will definitely be using duo. Working from day one with this duo system, I wasn't sure what to expect. However, after working with them, they're lighter, more efficient, I'm not as sore, my back doesn't hurt. They're just an easier system to get up and have more productivity at the end of the workday. If you're looking at uh, options for form work, lightweight, and have site restrictions, be able to save some time and money, not needing a crank, definitely give Perry a call for the duo form system.